Father, bless the day today. Thank you, Lord. For your mercies and your forever. God is good, isn't he? Amen. Amen, all the time. You know, sometimes I uh, go into a different church and see the name the church and they have their, their sayings and their right ones, but when you really listen to what they're saying and then in response to what God is saying, they are in agreement that he's a good God. And uh, the Lord is good all the time, isn't he? Amen. And I'm just so thankful that, um, you know, in this church we teach a lot about the grace of God. But it's not what we've done, but what Jesus did at the cross that qualifies us. And coming that is our identity in Christ is because of what he did at the cross is who we are today. And we don't have to prove who we are to him. He just loves us. We've been unfailing love. Can I have an amen today? Amen. This song is about that, that unfailing love. That we know who we are in Christ. Thank you. 
over and worship me. But today it's all about the cross. And how could it not be about the cross? Because it's what Jesus did. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son. Whoever believes in him will not perish from him.
God's goodness. Mm -hmm. Lord, we just thank you that you're a good God. We thank you, Lord, for your saving grace. We thank you for your love and your mercies. We thank you, Lord, that you didn't move us as orphans, but you, you came and rescued us. You saved us by your blood. Thank you, Jesus. So what I'm basing on what I speak to you comes predominantly out of Isaiah 53, 3 to 12, and 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 25. Show me, my Lord, that you have borne all our infirmities, all our diseases, all our sicknesses, all our illnesses, all our bruises, all our pain, all our heartache. And before you went to Calvary, you allowed yourself to be tied to the whipping post. You were stripped down and you were striped mercilessly. The flesh ripped from your side, ripped from your back, exposing the bones. And it's by those stripes we are healed. So let's partake of the flesh. Take the blood, the blood of Jesus. The top is not meant to stay on. <laughs> and at Calvary, I, Jesus, you were nailed to the cross. Then you were hung up. The blood oozing, dripping from your body. All our sins, past, present, future, were imputed onto your body. Forgiven, forgotten forevermore. The shedding of your blood washes us, cleans us, protects us. And I thank you, I thank you. The standard of our acceptance before you, Father, is not what we do, not what we say, it's Christ Jesus. So we stand before you now, all fair, no spot, no wrinkle, no blemish on us. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, now and forevermore. Amen. Let's drink of the blood. Share this message. Thank the Lord for it. We don't get what we think we deserve. We don't. We we get what we believe. It's not about our condition. It's about our position. What we think on most is what becomes us. Believe right. Live right. The greatest doing is believing. Two weeks ago, uh, Pastor Rob in his teaching, he spoke of Jesus' sacrifice in laying down his deity, leaving the Father, leaving heaven, and coming down to our level to save us. And in doing that, he would lay down his life I'd never ever thought about that scenario before. I've been a believer for 25 years, but never ever thought of that. So I started to ask myself, how much do I really know about Jesus? How much have I forgotten? How much do I take for granted? Jesus is the mystery of the ages who has divided history into B.C. and A.D., who has lived history from the beginning. Jesus, who has a book written about him, the most published and sold book ever, and when referenced, is on every page in the book, the Bible. Jesus, who is one of the triune being, the Godhead. So multifaceted is he 
that the Bible overflows with names and titles to describe him. And I'll just give, I do need the specs, I'll just give a few. The Alpha and Omega, the Anointed One, the Beloved Son and the Bright Morning Star, the Everlasting Lord, the First and the Last, the Faithful and the True, the Great I Am, the Good Shepherd, the High Priest and the Holy One of Israel, Emmanuel, God with us, the King of the Jews, the King of Kings, the Nazarene, the Overcomer, the Prince of Peace, the Redeemer, the Rabbi, the Rock, the Son of God, the Son of Man, and the Saviour of the world, the Teacher who came from God, the Word of God, the Way, the Truth, and the Life, Yeshua, Joshua, that's our Jesus. He called himself the Son of Man, and I think that's, I'm not going to argue with him, but we know he was also the Son of Mary. He lived on earth 33 years, worked as a, and worked and sweated as a carpenter. The last three years of his life, he told stories, never hurt a soul, he healed the sick, fed the hungry, taught the masses, walked across the sea, calmed the, wind, the winds and the angry sea. He preached the good news. The good, the good news, God's love for mankind is unconditional. And that eternal life in heaven for all of mankind awaits those in, who believe that the entry door to heaven is through the messenger, the message, Jesus. Jesus never said sorry. He never needed to apologise. For he was always in God's will, doing and speaking what God the Father wanted him to do and say. Jesus became the help of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless. Thousands followed him, thronged after him, trusted him, had faith in him, believed in him, and we're saying, today that same Jesus speaks to us and says to us that we can do the things that he did and even greater things we can do. Also, all that the Father gave him has been given to us. All we need is faith, faith the size of a mustard seed. That faith is that the Father God and Jesus will do as they say, then doing as they say. He's a giver. He never stops giving. It's not about us, but it's for us. We are right with God because we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. This position before God is sealed, never to be taken away. We are seated in heavenly places in Jesus at the right hand of Father God. We are in this world, but not of it. And whilst here on earth, we are the beneficiaries of all of the 7,487 blessings and promises recorded in the Bible. Jesus is our mediator. He is seated at the right hand of God, but he still he still cares for us very much. He's our mediator. He's our intercessor. He's the powerful provider. He's the trusted teacher, the selfless saviour, the worthy king, the lord of our life, and the great I am. Because we are his, no one will snatch us out of his hands or out of Abba Father's hands. Jesus is the risen Lord. He is alive. And so he wants to have the kind of relationship with us as he has had and has with Abba Father. Are you ready for it? Amen. 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 What I would like to do, and this was given to me a couple of weeks back, and it's a prayer. And when I thought that we couldn't have 
or give a word that God has given you, it really upset me because I knew it was for all of us. Until I spoke with Rob and he just said, no, by all means you can. And then the opportunity came today. So if you'd like to stand, I want to pray this. And with your spouse, hold your spouse's hand and with the free hand, raise it. That's it. And if you're not with your spouse, but you're not alone, because the triune beings with us, raise both hands. Close your eyes. Lift your eyes, your head to heaven, and think on the one who loves you the most. And in doing that, be at peace. Be prepared to enter his rest. Open the eyes and the ears to your heart. For God is going to do something great in each and every one of us. We believe it. We speak it and he does it. That's our mustard seed faith. That is the word of God. So Father, I thank you that we come before you in the name of Jesus. Give us the wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus. For to know Jesus is to have grace and peace. Grace and peace multiplied to us and to receive all things pertaining to life and godliness. And all the faithful believers of the mighty risen Lord say, Amen. 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 And that's out of 2 Peter 1, 2 to 3.